Some car shifters suck, especially back in the 80s. How about we make our shifter as sloppy and shit as possible? Good That's a job. That's a idea. great idea. Excellent. I want to go home. So here's how you fix that. I'm an artist by trade. All right. So this shifter over here represents our stock shifter. Long shifting rod and a short actuating rod. You have to move this a long ways to get this to move only a little bit to shift the transmission. Whereas on this side, we have our short shifter. So this rod is short, this rod is long, so you don't have to move this very far to get this to move a long distance to shift the transmission. Basically, this shifter over here feels terrible and sloppy, whereas this shifter over here feels gut and titan, which is what we want. So here's the current shifter situation in the Sundance. So all the cables and bushings are new, so this shifter is about as good as it can be. Basically, like, from the factory and from the factory isn't very good uh, the throw is really far it's sort of like mac and cheese it goes into the gear you want it to usually but it's like you know it's kind of like shifting a mac truck not that i've ever done that but this is how i imagine shifting a mac truck would be it's not great so what we're gonna do here is take it apart and uh do some uh magic so taking everything apart we can get a better look at our mechanisms here first of all the bracket itself moves which isn't great one of the linkages is held on with the zip ties because of the design this is a brand new bushing and it relies on that to stay in however uh it doesn't stay in so it's held up with zip ties we're gonna fix that while we're in there too now with the shifter out we can get a better look at it here so this rod down here on the bottom if we extend this, then it will give us a shorter throw. Right, so how I extended the actuator rod was I just stole a little bit of the shifter rod where the knob goes and welded it on there. And I forgot to record that, uh, but that's what I did. Just giving it a quick test here. And since this sticks farther down now, it hits the bracket, so. I need to cut this part away to make clearance. Every time I fix one problem, I seem to create another. I had to make spacers, well, spacers, they're nuts, to space this up so that the longer shifter rod moved down here. But now there's nothing holding this rubber piece in, so now I have to make shims for the bracket here to hold that in. My quick and dirty solution for the rubber thing falling out was to just weld some nuts right there. Now, it can't move. I drilled some holes in an old bolt so that I could weld them to the shifter rods to keep the cables on. That way I can put cotter pins through them. It's a much better design than just having the stupid bushing hold them on. All right, I think this is the final product of our bracket here. So, reinforcement here, reinforcement back here. Got the spacers, grinded some clearance right here, and we're good. Also, I had to cut these uh, portions out so the rods could swing. They were hitting that, but we're good. Also, got some holes for dowel pins so our cables don't fall out anymore, which is always good. So this is the original shift knob. It's extremely light. Usually shift knobs are weighted. This is like a plastic leather garbage. Whereas this cue ball shifter here is much heavier. It makes it feel a lot nicer. It's already feeling pretty good. I gotta shorten this uh, shaft here a little bit so that the boot will not be stretched out. So this is our final product. Our side to side lever was extended a little less than an inch so it moves farther as well as the forward and back. It's working as well. I'm gonna put one last finishing touch on this and that's these little isolators. They're letting stuff move around and I don't like that so they gotta go. Got the cables installed with the cotter pins. They will never come out. That's a much better design. It feels like, if I had to describe it, like a modern shifter, something you would find in a newer manual car that isn't from the 80s. So it's really notchy. It feels not like churning a bowl of mac and cheese anymore. So that's good. But the principle is there. Lengthen the bottom rod, shorten the top rod. 
and change the ratio to be tighter, make it better, make it not good. I mean, I mean, make it good instead of bad, and it's better. All right, goodbye. It feels not like a bowl of cereal. No, no, that doesn't really work. Lengthen the bottom rod, shorten the bottom, uh, lengthen the bottom rod, shorten the top rod, and make the ratio. Uh, but the principle is there. Lengthen, but the principle is there.